Okay, everybody, I think we're down to doing just some uh, cosmetic work on this uh, radio here. I'm going to take these plates off, clean it all up. Try to get these lights to come on a little better down here. Plug it in again. So there's an awful lot of dust in behind these plastic covers, so let's, let's pop those off first here. Now this is kind of a curious deal here. These controls all have a little indicator dot on them. This one does too, but somebody has crossed it out and drawn in this arrow. Why in heaven's name would they ever do that? You can't put this control on wrong, but you could put the wrong control on. That might be the problem. Let's see. Okay, this control can only go on this shaft. Uh, it's a different type of control. This one. These two controls are turned the same and you can see the dot is in the same place, so they're identical knobs. So why has somebody done this? A bit of a mystery to me. I'm not going to be able to answer it. Now we got to clean up all this dust. Look at that. Look at that. That's all dust in there, man. Look at Wow. Get all that off. Let's see what kind of this is some kind of plastic material or something. It's going to take a lots of abuse. I don't have to worry about it. So let's let's turn the dial uh, to the extreme top, and we'll start down here. black background. Still a little bit of dust in there. better. Nice black background. Lovely silver colored pointer here. No, oh, let's look at the two light bulbs. change this one. That one's 
a little tricky to get to. There's the clip, I can feel it there. Just a little hole to shove it through. I don't know if I want to touch that. The other one to get at is this one. These buttons, when you push them in, a little light should come on, but it's not revealing any light at all. So let's look at that light bulb. see in there. There's where it's mounted. For replacement of FM stereo indicator light, contact qualified service personnel. That's interesting. The stereo light is down here not on right now because we're not receiving stereo, but it works. So I'm not going to worry about that one. Let's get this one here. It's, wow, it's hot. It's bright. It's bright and hot. Whew. But it's also gone black. So it, it's not shining much light right out where it needs to. Now, what kind of light is this? This one is a 998. 998. 998. Well, I don't know 99 is. Okay, so I, I tried to figure out uh, what this bulb is that I just took out of there. The 998 is a totally different bulb from this, what I have in my hand here, so I, I don't know what this is. So let's just, uh, we'll test the uh, voltage on the light fixture. And uh, once we have the voltage, we can pick a light pretty easily. Okay. assume it's six volts. Let's see. Six point three volts. Ha, it's right on the money. Six point three. Huh. Okay, so a six point three volt bulb. And I think a forty seven is a six point three volt bulb. Here's a 47s. Stick it right in there and see what it looks like. It's not very bright, is it? Let's let's put it in and see if it does the trick. Yeah, that did it. Here, have a look. now. That's working. These. Oh, that's a little power switch. <laughs> These aren't going off completely. Why would that be? I have to disassemble this whole arrangement here and I don't think it's worth doing. Uh, we're getting light on the back of these now too, so I think, I think we pretty much did it, did it there. We did it. We did it good. Okay.
And the next thing we would like to do is clean these things up here, which I think on the outside we can do anything we want. And on the back side, I think we're just dusting, so we don't want to put any fluid on it. Surprising sometimes how adherent the dirt can be on these things. Um, and I guess it's just years and years of slowly collecting. That's going to look a lot better. But this is a little like cleaning windows, you know. You, you get them all done, you look at, oh, another spot I missed. Oh, another spot I missed. So here. That's the FM dial. Let's take a look at it. Oh, a spot I missed. Hmm, <laughs> looks more like a scratch on the back somehow. Putting that in loosely with one screw for now, get the other one. Okay, so I've got them both on. We'll put in the lower screw. It already looks, you know, this makes such a big difference in how a radio looks. Just cleaning up the, uh, you know, the uh, displays, and getting the lights going properly, and just all that kind of stuff. Now, not so sure why there's so much adjustment left and right. And I think it might have to do with the uh, whole uh, plate that goes on here. I will get and we will take a look at it. Here, have a look at that. You know what this is? That's a steel brush with a steel extension on it. That's one of my furnace cleaning tools. If you've up with me, you know I've had some trouble with my furnace. And uh, okay, so here here's the outside piece here. And it's really in bad shape in terms of being dirty. Um, it's pretty rugged. It's cat. This is it looks like a piece of cast metal. Um, Yeah. 
So I'm going to take this away and clean it. I'm literally going to clean it in my kitchen. Bring it back. We'll see what it looks like. And there we go. That's what it looks like after some some cleaning. Not perfect. Can't expect it to be perfect, but uh, glass, of course, can clean up real nice. No question about that. Chrome here is cleaned up really nice, but it's so easy for chrome to get fingerprints and stuff like that on it. So uh, you know, this has a long life in it because this is a cast cast piece. Um, this really is a, a nicely built radio. And it doesn't look too good out of the cabinet, of course. But let's see what happens when we put this back on. temporarily here. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 that's not what I want to see happen, that's for sure. Okay, nothing bad happened. Okay, so there we are, that's kind of what it looks like. Nothing holds this piece on the, to the radio. This piece is on the cabinet. Um, it's fixed to the cabinet, so it's, it's always loose on the radio. So I guess the alignment of the two dials is all about balancing against this piece. Um, making sure things are lined up right. Uh, it looks just fine like that, doesn't it? I don't see any problems. Yeah, it looks fine to me. It really does. Now I want to check the AM versus FM light because I I replaced the AM light. I did not replace the FM light. AM, FM, AM. looks a lot brighter so I think we really got to change out that FM light too and the challenge with that is that it's not not easily accessible okay so I've unplugged the radio while I do this oh it's on a piece of wood trouble if I try this. Um, 
why would they make it that difficult? Cheapers. I'd have to push the light back. catching on something. Something's holding it. Something's holding it there. I'm going to get my fingerprints over everything I cleaned doing this. Booey. Light's got to stay. Slightly weaker light. It's not that bad compared to a no light at all situation. I would say. So I think that's it. We're, uh, L we're completed. This radio. I wish I could figure out what has happened here. Because I know the pointer is not in the right spot. There's nothing here that can be adjusted. Isn't that the most curious thing? Where's the uh, one, two, knob number three? What did I do with knob number three? How can I lose track of something right in front of me? Anyway, I think I think that's really it for this radio. The only thing I really could do is hook it up to a real decent set of speakers and hear what this thing really sounds like. Um, but that, that's tricky for me here in my shop. So, there it is. The completed... Wait a minute, i got to put the frame on it before I say that. <laughs> put the frame on it. There it is. <laughs> oh, this. Not quite. Not quite. There it's not. We have to glue something here. The uh, FM light is coming out. And what I've got for that is a brand new tube of all purpose contact cement. The, where's the glue? Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's, of course, too much. That's the one thing about contact cement, is it's pretty stringy, fumy stuff. You get glue strings everywhere. Now, I can glue this in upside down if I'm not careful. So the FM... This is upside down, so this should be upside down. Oh my gosh, what's come off now? This has come off. Huh. Whatever glue they use, they really just gave up the ghost here. Let's see if I can just pick a little glue up like this. How about we just drop it on the floor while we're working on it? That's, that should help. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
upside down. Okay, I'm pretty sure that'll do the trick. That was a stocking gift, that glue. <laughs> a Christmas gift in my stocking. Now I think it's all finished up completely. Except I've lost a knob, and, uh, and there's another little yellow here, this one. I don't want to lose that. This one switches. Uh, I believe it's uh, AFC or something like that. What's that hole there? but there's some holes in the panel here. I never noticed them before. That's about how it fits there. I don't know what these holes are. They look like screws go in to them. Uh, that's kind of a mystery. And uh, loudness, balance. Okay, so loudness is the volume, and balance must be that little lever that goes on there. So I don't think I'm going to put the uh, knobs on. I think I'm going to return this in separate like this. Uh, I'll package it up separate and return it. That be it. It's all done. Except for the, the needle. It still needs. Okay, I can't drag this out any longer. <laughs> That's the end of that. I hope you enjoyed it. That was the uh, Electro Home. It says right on it Electro Home TR50. Thanks for watching.